Hello, hello, and welcome, lovely people, lovely Ricky Gervais fans, Stephen Merchant fans, and more importantly, Carl Pelkington fans. We have the Ricky Gervais Show. I was going to cough, but I didn't. Season 2, Episode 9, Natural History. These, this, this second season has been just <laughs> chock full of amazing moments, so I'm, I'm excited to see... <laughs> Carl, talk about natural history. That's going to be fun. Let's do this. I should start by just saying, Carl, that the natural world is so diverse that we don't even know how many species there are. With plants and animals, there could be up to 10 million species. Um, there are 37,000 different species of spider alone. What do you think of that? Wow. Uh, it's a lot. It is, isn't it? Lot. But if, if, if there's loads of stuff out there that we don't know about and we don't know what it's doing, is it that important? Is it worth finding them Do we them need out? them? <laughs> well, yeah. Why? Well, it may give us the key to unlock other mysteries. A spider won't. Well, it might do. A spider won't be unlocking well, any that, mysteries. Well, that's, that's what, what I mean is the police know about the gangsters, but right. they go, right, we're aware of them, right. let them get on with it. We'll keep our eye on them. And it's the same in the jungle. The spiders, the deadly ones you're aware of, the ones that are just pottering about, you go, don't even worry about them, don't even give them a name. They're not doing anything. <laughs> but what if there's another poisonous spider they haven't identified yet, they're lurking in the undergrowth? I'd be very surprised. So but you'd be very surprised? I'd be surprised if there was something... It sounds like laziness on your part. But they're know, discovering new not. species all the time. We know about all the dangerous stuff yeah. now, because we have to, we live no, in a world don't. now. We do, we no, know we about don't. a lot of the dangerous stuff. Whenever they find something new now, it's like a well, new look, butterfly or... Well, no, well, no, look at AIDS. What? When I was a kid, I'd no one had ever heard of AIDS. Yeah, but that's not a natural thing, is it? That's not like a spider or... What do you mean it's like not a natural neighbor. thing? It's not, a, it's not a natural thing. It's not something that's... AIDS hasn't been, like, living under the soil for millions of years, going, I'll wait till the 1980s and I'll come out and kill a load of people. <laughs> no, but it is a natural thing. It's a new thing. thing. Yeah, it's new. It, yeah, but loads of animals are new, aren't they? Not in, not, I mean, it, uh, evolutionary terms, there's new animals in I'm evolution. Sure, I'm sure there's new stuff deep down that's just like, almost like bacteria. Sat under the soil, it'll never come to the top, right? It's like having, having an old woman who's a neighbour. She never goes out, she doesn't bother you. Let her be. <laughs> but, <laughs> you but, but what if that old neighbour could unlock the secrets to... I don't think she can. Just to, even to us understanding the, the complexities of the universe, of because the way things have developed and grown. Because we know about it. Well, why would we know about it? Because I never understand, why is it you want to stop researching and studying now? Why is it that you're happy to, to just draw a line under everything else? What if people had said this back in he the knows 19th enough. century? We've done this. We've done this. I think someone in the 1900s we had <coughs> said everything that's going to be invented has been invented. And, and then look what happened in that century. Yeah, and I've said to you, look at the stuff that is being invented now. The frisbee and stuff like that. It's all, <laughs> it's it's all, it's all stuff that, right. that you kind of go, it's all right, it's a good idea, but it, we don't need yeah, it. But the They're not being... Pilko pants. I mean, I haven't seen those, by the way, yet, so. But I know of them. <laughs> They're not pants where you don't get hemorrhoids, so you don't sit on, you know, cold. So that, that, now that. Is a revolutionary idea, but Frisbee, who needs them? Worked on by the top brains of our generation. That was some novelty toy that some manufacturer made. Yeah, but it's like, look at the fuss we made over that fella who came up with a Dyson vac. Everyone was like, he's up there with Einstein. Well, he's not. Uh, it's a good vac. It cleans up floors well and everything. Who but said he's up there with <laughs> Einstein? His PR of, people In did. one of those programmes where they did, like, great inventions of our time, it was easy early on, you go, Einstein, you know, Newton did this, Archimedes, Dyson. <laughs> and and they, they started to run sure. out because it is harder to come up with something new now because everything that's needed remember the things we've invented are things that we sort of go we could do with that inventors don't sit there going what can I make oh, I need a toaster they've sat there they've burnt the toast under the grill and they've gone I need some sort of device here well, somebody, yeah, 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 yeah. and what can they do oh, shit, necessity like is the mother of invention yeah. however there are uh, uh, people who sit around going where, where's a you know a loophole in the market where's a little where's well a here's, niche? here's something about what? a year ago I came up with a see through toaster so that you can see how much the toast is cooked right I found it about two months after that someone had done it there you go. So I've just been beaten to the post. 
There you go, that was that. I met a bloke on a conference once who sent a drawing to Blue Peter. It was their designer car of the future, and he sent them a drawing that was a car, and the only innovation was that you can have a shit while driving. <laughs> And then it, he put he put shit goes down pipe, which becomes fuel. They must have looked at that and gone, what a mania. I think that's a brilliant. I mean, I've driven a long way. I drove to Cornwall recently, and I would have loved. But I think a he did it when he was about nine, seat. and he must have thought, oh, I'm being driven to school. Oh, and I need the toilet. Mm. Wouldn't it be good? But if why this... hasn't the why hasn't that been done? What? Well, like Steve says, I've been in the same situation when you're driving <coughs> and you go, oh, where's the service station? You see a sign saying 36 miles. So what would so you So you suggest pull your trousers down and shit down in the seat that's a toilet. Yeah, well, what's wrong with that? Well, you've got your nan in your back. She's got one as well. So you are Sh going oh, to call she while shitting. <laughs> well, not all the time, but it's, it's, it's more useful to me than a lighter. So also, what, at Where'd what you point wash do you hands? Wa wa wash your hands or yeah. wipe your arse? At what point does that occur? Oh, at the end a... of the journey. <laughs> wait, though. No. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, Stephen freaking turned because he was he he was the first one to say yeah it's a good idea I would need that and now he turned what, what happened wash your hands or yeah. wipe your ass at what point does that occur? Oh, that's the end of the journey <laughs> oh god so you get in oh you have a shit at Deptford and you wipe your ass at Paul Perro. Yeah, but like I've said to you, this isn't like just people going, oh, I think I'll have one. Do you need one? Not really, but it's something to do, isn't it? I'm sick of playing I Spy, I'm having a shit. You have it when you really need one. When you have to pull off a motorway, it's a lot of messing about. That's probably going to be a queue at the toilet. No more queues at toilets. Ten minutes, Nick, that takes, doesn't it? Ten know, minutes yeah. to pull Ten minutes. off, have a quick shit. Driving along, just it's just going on. It's just going on, don't even know about it. Radio's on, everyone's happy. Doesn't matter. I don't know. I mean, we all do it as well. That's the thing. And the Everybody house, poops. You'd, uh, We've seen the book. With. There's so many things. Chocolate. In the house, you'd uh, come up with. There's so many things. Chocolate fountain. Anything like that. I just go, what are these? Who's invented these? Who's okayed this idea? And yet I can't have a shit on the motorway. <laughs> <laughs> Think of computers. Oh yeah, c computers are a good thing, and <coughs> it baffles me as to how they came about. When you think a, a computer chip is just made out of sand. Now, for someone to come up with that, you go, this, there must have been some sort of alien involved here. What do you mean? Why do you <laughs> think that? <laughs> so, I love it. So, the Frisbee, rubbish, anything... That, that right there, that whole little scene... That was Subnautica. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have ever played that game, but... Basically, that game's fun, by the way. If you haven't played it, I suggest it. But, um... Alien surf. Nothing too clever. Well, it wasn't an invention, it was an alien. <laughs> so there's nothing between frisbee and computer chip. What I'm saying is, it's no. not even an idea, is it? What do you mean? <laughs> what I'm Steven saying said. is, it's not even an idea, <laughs> is it? What do you mean? A computer chip? Where's that come from? Oh, it's amazing. Well, that, it's it, astounding, yeah. So with, you with, think it was an alien? Because, what are you talking about? That's great. Because that's... I, I can't believe that someone would go, right, I want to make something that will hold information and be able to do... I don't know, let's use some sand. We've got loads of that. You, you'd go, what are you... you don't, don't. Well, that's what genius is, though, but isn't Carl, it? There's no alien involved. No, but when I say alien, I don't mean an alien came down here and said, you know, oh, do you want to buy this? There could have been yeah. uh, a, a spaceship uh, crash, right? Right, yeah. And... There's all them rumours, isn't there, in that anger. They've got the spaceship, they take it apart, they go, yeah, wheels, we've got them. Yeah, 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 steering wheel. Yeah. And then they go, hang on, what's this here? And they find the chips, and they break it down, and they find Carl, these sand. But Reverse the fact that sand here. makes computer sure. chips is not the interesting thing. The interesting thing is how the human being discovered that, uh, what am I talking about, sand <laughs> makes computer <laughs> chips, that silicon can have information uh, 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 put on it. But we're made out of... Oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. And hydrogen. It, that, yeah, but fascinating. that's nature. You see, yeah. nature is amazing. You can't beat nature, right? No. It comes up with some amazing things. Yeah, but man is nature. Don't forget that we are, we're an animal. We're a brilliant ape. We're actually 98.6% <laughs> genetically identical to a chimpanzee, Carl. Okay. Think of that. We only differ on 1.4%. Of but our that, genetic that, that, makeup. that must be the arse. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Right. Because that's a lot different. <laughs> what? 
That's it. That Animal I wanted rights. to hear more about that. Okay. Animal rights is uh, is a hot topic. <coughs> it's a big issue. What rights should they have? We test drugs on animals, and uh, we're basically saying if they die, they die. We learn something from them. People do make distinctions between animals, right? They, they know that it's probably more acceptable to kill an ant uh, than... Uh, Punch a cow. Yeah, exactly. I told you, didn't I, about me, my dad's mate who had, a, who had a monkey and he had oh to boy. thump it. What? what? Well, there's two things there. One, why did he have a monkey? Two, what sort of discipline is thumping a monkey? What was the monkey doing? He kept... He was annoying his wife a lot and sort of, you know, pinching her ass and stuff like that. Right, no, right. that's Wait, not we, true. We've that's never heard true. this before. How have we had all these years no, of monkeys sure and we've never heard this before? Ago. Your dad had a mate who had a monkey? Yeah, I'm sure I told you. That, well, why did he have a monkey? Just for a laugh? Well, it was back in the day when you, people did. They all had, like, <laughs> odd in, sort oh. of pets now, didn't they? In, like... About 68. Oh, in 1968, when, oh, when everyone had a monkey. We had to bump sure. it. Now, the weird thing is... Now, that's weird enough. Is this the... Right? This is all the story. This is the entire story no. you've got. All the information you've got is he had a monkey and he had to thump it. Yeah, my dad told me about it. When he found out that I, I was into monkeys, he said, oh, Benny thumped one. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Benny thumped one. <laughs> oh, my son's into natural history, particularly uh, Simeon variety. Um, I've got an interesting fact for you, Carl. Sit down. What is it, Peter? Um... Benny thumped one. But, Brilliant. But, but what was mm. interesting is the way that people are thumping other people all the time. <laughs> no one bats an eyelid. Thump a monkey. People go, you thumped a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, they do! They do yeah. go, you thumped a monkey. So that's what's weird, isn't it? But this chimp doesn't want to be caged and kept in a fucking council house in Manchester. No, it was, it was quite happy. And if it, it wants to live happy. like a human... I mean, in the 70s... You know, there were all, all the tea bag adverts and all that. They were loving that. No, they then weren't people loving it. Fear. People go, oh, that's unfair. Now they, they're in like a cage in a zoo. They go, it was better when I was pushing a piano up a stairs. They weren't really. They weren't really. They weren't actual delivery men. They weren't really <laughs> sitting down and having a cup of tea. Well, it wasn't a documentary. Uh, uh, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> the life of the delivery men. I love that. Chimps in a zoo now going, okay, now we, at, least we were, at least we were free. Remember when we used to drive a van? And, and, we're on, and we're on 58 quid a week. Yeah. They're not meant to be kept in a house in Manchester. Or cool anywhere. To keep a person in a house in Manchester, so it's fucking cruel to keep a monkey. <laughs> when I was about 13, 14, I once tried to improve the animal kingdom by making the hardest animal ever, the most perfect animal. Now, just to clarify, you didn't, in sort of Frankenstein style, no. try and bolt oh, various oh. bits of animals together. It, it was a drawing that I sent to Blue Peter. There was no competition going on. You just thought they would be appreciated. I thought they'd, they'd look at that and they'd go, well, this is, he's a genius. Yeah. This is like Da Vinci. Sure. Um, and this is the animal. This is what I thought, the perfect animal. I mean, when I say perfect, I meant the hardest animal. This right. animal, sure. it could take anything. It was just the strongest, hardest, fastest, right? Yeah. So... I started with the head of a lion. Of course, that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it looks good. Right, bite you, right? Okay. Yeah. I popped that on the body of a rhinoceros. Okay, so it's got the toughness, oh, the armour, if you the, like. The, the, oh, it's full strength. Sure. Head of a lion. Think of that. So you've got this picture. Head of a lion, body of a rhino. Perfect. Okay. Hold on, though. Pop some arms on it. The front arms were the arms of a gorilla. The arms of a gorilla. So okay. it could punch, grip, it could make stuff. The lion, I mean, that's where the lion falls down, because it can't make stuff. Sure. It can't climb, you know. So, okay then, wait a minute. You think that's got enough weaponry? Sounds like it. No. Pop on the tail of a giant scorpion. Ah, <laughs> a giant scorpion? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a scorpion that's, that's the size so of a Exactly. So the tail was as long as that right. So now yeah. this is a scary animal. Yeah. And this is where the animal fell down. Uh, I thought, right, legs. Well, the fastest animal is the cheetah. The cheetah. Popped on four cheetah legs. Four cheetah legs. It would have collapsed. It would have collapsed, under it the collapsed of the immediately. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. And you, you drew this, did you? I drew it, yeah. Did you show it to anyone yeah, else? Yeah, my mates went, that's brilliant. Oh, my God. They said, that's brilliant. <laughs> And uh, then just sent straight to Blue Peter. Yeah. Any reply? No reply at all. Really? No reply Surprise. at all. What do you think of that, Carl? If you wanted to make the ultimate fighting animal, what would you come up with? If you had the power, like that fella in Arabian Nights, size of a chimpanzee, you could change into anything, but you could change into, you know, <coughs> like that. I don't think I'd go for strength and that. I'd go for survival. What would you do? Uh. Cockroach. 
I'd have uh, I'd have like uh, an armadillo's body. Right. Okay. I'd have a uh, head of an owl. Right. The head of an owl. Yeah. Why? 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 Come on. Why? What does that bring to the table? The head's there to sort of make it look friendly to, to the human race. So okay. because if you look half decent to the human race, they'll mm. they'll look after you. Right. That's the way it works. Yeah. Right? Okay. With the cat and the dog and all that. Mm. Right. So the owl makes it look nice. Right. I'd have uh I wouldn't have legs, I'd go for like the slug juice. <laughs> what do you mean? So now you're a really slow moving legless armadillo with a head of an owl. Slithering along. How yeah. is that going to be friendly? They'll, be, they'll see the beautiful face, but then they'll be terrified by the sludge. Right. No, the head's that nice that they'll, they'll forgo the, uh, the sludge. But hold on, oh. though. But wait a minute. So this got, it's got this thing that's stuck, right, going at 0.1 miles an hour <laughs> with a going, <laughs> right? You come over, you kick the head off. How is this no, survival? The head can go into the thing like a tool. <laughs> right, you come over, you kick the head off. How is this no, survival? No, the head can go into the thing like <laughs> Why was the who so, like, Desperate and in pain. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Tortoise. Can it? Yeah, of course it can. Into so, the armadillo body. Well, no, an armadillo doesn't do that. It just curls up into oh, no, a ball. This isn't an armadillo, is it? So it's. Oh, Why on, has it got the slug? Why because is that so attractive? what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, an armadillo. They're good when they're on their feet. Flip them, they get stuck, like a tortoise. Right. Slug stuff. Keeps it down. Ah, okay. So if anything attacks it, it's like a limpet or one sure. of those things that can. Why well, have a limpet then? But 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 it no. can't get any. How can it? can barely move. It can just hardly go and, get just anywhere. Just go and kick it. What just do you mean this, can't get well, anywhere. How can it escape from danger? Nobody freaking attacked the stupid rhino with the cheetah legs and all that. I granted, Ricky himself said the legs were stupid, but I mean, it, 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 you can't ask to peek inside somebody's imagination, and then go, oh, dude, you're. A Freaking moron! Why'd you ask? Let him be. Injury, it's gonna move it's rubbish. Slowly. No, I what? mean, yeah, it is rubbish, it. but let it be. How can it escape from danger? It's gonna it's move rubbish. Really slowly. No, what? It'll that's lock, the worst it'll lock animal. In, it'll lock itself in. Yeah, and then I'll just scoop it up on the side. You can't scoop it up. It locks itself in it's, if it's, it's in danger. Glued to the floor. Cock feathers. <laughs> I get it's, it. it's just it's, it's just the so worst <laughs> animal you I've ever heard. What is peacock feather? Survival. It looks more threatening. It that's, does, what, that's the least oh. threatening thing, peacock feather. It's like Danny LaRue coming at you. There's yeah. nothing remotely scary about peacock feathers. Yeah, to humans, yeah. but the humans won't be harming it because they like the owl head. People will like to have these things in the garden. Of mm. course. Uh, I, I would. They eat lettuce. That looks fabulous. They eat lettuce. <laughs> le Why has he got a beak? They eat lettuce. He's telling them what he's going to eat now. The owl's going, fuck that, I want a mouse. I love the fact that he's based what it eats on the fact that how it moves a bit like a slug. Yes. <laughs> they eat lettuce. Yeah. It moves that and they eat lettuce. Like I said, it's, it's not that weird if that, if that existed. If that was normal, like when you went out to empty your bin, he was one of them sliding up the wall. <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't even double take. You'd just be like, oh, there's the, uh, the owl head peacock feather thing. I don't know why he's climbing walls in an effort to find lettuce. Yeah, why is it climbing up that wall? Because that's the only way it can see properly. Because its head's coming out like that. So even though you've designed this animal, now it's, you're even explaining <laughs> it's, its limitations. Problems. Well, it's, 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 it's mainly made as, uh, to be on walls. Because <laughs> what else is living on walls? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. What a useless animal that is. Carl, I mean. But nature chucks oh. up odd <laughs> things, doesn't it? Don't. Why are we starting on this again? No, I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying that is nature. Fuck now and again, you'll get, you'll get stuff that... Oh, was he looking at you? Yeah. Was he really? <laughs> Look at his fucking head. Look at his stupid, round, fucking orangey head and... Oh. Why, why aren't you a freak? You've got a little bald head. We're not meant to be bald. Well, I, I was, I think. That's the thing. That's what nature's done. You see, I didn't do anything with my hair when I had hair. I didn't style it. I didn't do anything with it. And it probably thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Whereas people who love their hair and they comb it and have different styles and look after it, they have hair for ages. Nonsense. No, nonsense. nonsense. Absolute well, nonsense. Well, you're saying Absolute it. nonsense. Well, it's a little bit weird, then, isn't it? And that's what happens with old people. Once they lose their, you know, will to live. Once they lose the job, they get old. What's my purpose? What am I doing here? And it's like nature goes, you're not needed, and they oh. die. Oh. Maybe that's what happened with the dodo. What's it doing? Can't fly. Its wings are useless. 
Eat it. Tastes horrible. Kill it. <laughs> no, they did Nature. eat it. I think they did eat yeah, it. Yeah, but it wasn't very nice, was it? I, th I think they over-farmed it. I think that's why <coughs> it was extinct, because they did eat it. No, but they did eat it, but they didn't like it. Everybody, you never you never saw like a fully eaten carcass of a dodo. You're It'd making this up again. Eaten. All conjecture. No, but they, they didn't eat it all. Everybody would probably try it and go, it's not for me, that. <laughs> but you don't know no this. No idea, you don't you're just making this. it up. What's this based on? Just, people, what is this based and also, on? why would that kid it out? Because, I'll tell you why. why. Because if it's not nice, people don't go, don't get another one in. And they die out. The reason we've got loads of chickens and loads of cows is because we eat them. If we ate polar bears, we wouldn't be short of them. Because you'd farm it, you'd take more care. But what's a polar bear doing? Sat on a block of ice floating about. <laughs> it's no use to us, is it? It sounds harsh. Once again, no got use. his information from a glacier mint advert. No, but it's no, it's no use <coughs> to us. We know they're there, and it's all very sad when you see them on the news sort of struggling and all that. Yeah. But it's going to make them stronger. <laughs> This episode's quite I saw bits this and trailer clips. for this documentary that said uh, the man who's having a baby. Mm. And I turned on, and it's a woman going through a sex change, and she's pregnant. That's not a man having a baby. That's a woman is having a Is that Jane? Having a breakdown. Uh, uh, what, what, why is that? What? That's a con. That is pure sense of, it's a man having a baby. Look, the world's first, no, it's a woman. It's a woman. What do you think of that? What would you do if you were a doctor? And I came to you and went, Carl, listen, I'm having a bit of a rethink of these. Uh, I don't, I, the penis, I hate it. I hate this cock. But what do you mean you hate it? I hate it, I don't want it there. It doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. It just sits there resting on these fucking awful testicles that I'm gonna get rid of. I want, I want this thrown away. Yeah, well, it's, you know, they're not a great look. I know that. Everyone knows that. It's just the way they are. I mean, if we're all being honest, they're an odd design. I don't think anyone likes their own, do they? That's why we cover them. They're not a great thing, are they? What is this not why we cover them, though, is it? It's part of it, I think. I think deep down, I mean, even if, like, I know you, you ate the Adam and Eve thing, but even if back then he was like, good God, cover them up, <laughs> even he had a leaf on. No, but listen. So, are you thinking fundamentally then that aesthetically, the testicles and the penis isn't as good as it could be? What would you have there instead? Well, it's it's designed that way because that's the way it's got to be designed. It's more about function than uh, yeah. And and that's that's the thing, isn't it? With with modern technology, you, need, you know, the, the thing is, the testicles have to be outside because they have to be a few degrees below body temperature. Yeah. Otherwise, the satoli cells die, which sort of feed the semen and all that. So, they, they, you know, to to be functioning and sort of like fertile, they have to be outside, which is annoying because I'd put a little rib cage around them, like that. I'd I'd pop a rib cage around those, protect them, wear a cricket box, have that built in, so you cannot get a kick in a swift kick in the bollocks no, that makes you feel sick. But it'd be better if they could sort of reverse up in a way that <laughs> they, they, they were hidden away. Right. Yeah. So that they were just then you dropped them. It's like right, we need to cool them down. Be at it in about half an hour. Yeah, zzz, drop them down. Yeah, like the gear on a on an aeroplane landing gear. Yeah. Right. And uh, landing gear down and the bollocks and the cooling down. Or you could just oh. like just pop them in the fridge for <laughs> ten minutes. He's well, they could detach and you could pop them in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you make me some breasts? Easy. Okay. Go on, you say easy, what are you gonna do? By the way, there was this thing, to, just since we're kind of sort of on topic, kind of. Um, there were, I, I heard, I don't remember if I read it myself or somebody told me or informed me, I don't remember, but it was apparently a legit type of project thing they were working on. They've been working on, like, male birth control and that kind of stuff for a long time. <clears throat> but um, one thing they were working on was a way to put... It, it's basically a vasectomy, but a vasectomy with a switch in the little area they're talking about. The little pouchy area where, um, you know, you just flip the switch when you want kids and flip it off when you don't. <laughs> Something like that. I heard that like years ago, and I I guess it never it never worked out or caught on because I never heard it again. But I believe they were actually working on that, 
And, um, interesting. So it's, it's kind of interesting to ma imagine that situation with the light switch, well, a light switch, a, a switch in it, um, with a nice little rib cage around to protect all that. That it's, 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 <laughs> it's an interesting image to say the least. What's your plan? Just, uh, hey. okay. can you make me some breasts? Okay. We're back Easy. to that. Okay. Easy, sure. We've got what you say, easy. What are you gonna do? What's your plan? Just uh, how do you do that? It's tablets, isn't it? <laughs> no, but testosterone, isn't it? <laughs> testosterone. <laughs> no, Toblerone. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's some Toblerone. <laughs> well, sort of pointy, pointy tips, mm. like Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you stop, though? Suppose I came to you and said, uh, Doctor, listen. Um, <laughs> That was great. That was awesome. <laughs> Where do you stop, though? <laughs> Suppose I came to you and said, uh, oh Doctor, God. listen, um, I like the bollocks, I like the penis, but I don't like them where they are. I'd... I want them... I want them in the middle of my chest. I want breasticles. Yeah? The arse, I don't like it around the back. I can't see what's going on. Pop that on the front where the bollocks were. I want my arse where I can look down and see what's going on. Can you do it? I think it's just easier to move the head. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I like how they animate him just like looking around, just like, just like a kind of like a dog or something. When when a dog does something, they just kind of look around like what I do. <laughs> <laughs> like what, what is he laughing at? What's going on? <laughs> the, the, the whole they went from first of all, oh my god. This episode had so many bits and clips and topics just all over the place. But um, they kind of ended up with Carl being a doctor with one topic. And they just went all over the place. But um, that ending was great. That last, like, five minutes was just freaking hilarious. Carl's little face looking away, dude. It's too cute. Too cute. Oh, man. All right. So there we go. That was that. I kind of like when um, when they're longer snippets of conversations, more in, in depth and detail when they're on one subject for longer because just the funniest freaking stuff comes out. But when it's, when it's such short little clips and bits, it's just, I don't know. I prefer a, a longer, more sequential kind of thing. But it's all freaking great. The, I've seen... I, I, I don't know if it's one or two people. I don't know how many people do it. But I've seen channels have just this XFM podcast to go to sleep with. It's just hours and hours and hours of these guys talking. And <laughs> people totally watch them to fall asleep to. But, I mean, I, I, I don't get that. How do you fall asleep to this? It's all freaking hilarious. Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep. I would be cracking up. But um, my point is... I, as well as many other people, can listen to these guys just talk for hours because it's just so entertaining and so just silly, and I love it. So there you go. Anyway, guys, whatever you're off to do, have a fantastic one. Have a fantastic just day or night and a fantastic tomorrow, and um, I'll be around watching stuff. So thank you for everything, and toodles.